Whistle Family Adventures Resort household. Yes, this isn't our normal area. We are not in our normal setting. We are actually um, staying in the Philip Am Resort down here in Batangas and we have been for the last couple of nights. But we have to leave today, unfortunately. We've got to leave Batangas behind now and go back to Makati. It has been an amazing couple of days to be able to stay here. Just excuse me, I'm sucking on a mint because um, I have bad breath. Um, and I've got extremely bad sunburn. If you can see, it's all down my nose. So if you think I look a bit red, we got really burnt on the boat trip. If you want to see that video, uh, I'll put it in the cards and links below as well. If you want to watch our whole Batangas trip, it will all be linked up or down, doesn't matter, but you can find it somewhere. Um, we had a really, really good time here. The boat trip was just phenomenal. One of the best experiences we've had so far, but we gotta leave, we gotta go. We're here with Mama Yana and family vlogs. Uh, Yana and Phoenix are with us currently, um, but we are traveling back to Makati, but we have one stop to make before we get back home. So we thought we'd take you along, obviously. This is Whistle Family Adventures. We're supposed to be having adventures. So we will have one more adventure before we head back. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good one. So we're all just waiting uh, for Chris to come and get us, aren't we? Yeah? You waiting for Chris? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll be on our way to the next destination. arrived here in Tagaytai. That is our next destination before we hit Makati and go back home. Um, but we're here at somewhere we haven't been to before, which is the Twin Lakes. I don't know why it's called Twin Lakes. I, in my mind, was picturing like two lakes running alongside each other. But I don't know whether it means the lake where Ta'al is and the lake on the other side, right over past the kind of mountains, whether that's why it's called Twin Lakes. Or, yeah, I'm not sure why it's called Twin Lakes, but it looks so spectacular. The views are amazing. The last time we came to Tagaytai, we did the um, Picnic Grove, which was so cool. And we also did the Sky Ranch. So if you want to check that video out, link is above and below. I think this is another Starbucks with one of the best views. So that'd be really cool. So we're just having a little look around here now. And then we'll be heading off to have some very traditional bulelo, which we didn't have last time either. We had very grumpy kids last time that wanted food straight away. Um, and we were in Sky Ranch, so we opted for more kind of basic food. But this time we're gonna have a really traditional Tagaytai dish. So very excited about that as well. So Ta'al is right there, right in the middle of the lake. And then there's these like really pretty kind of French chateau style buildings just here, which I don't know if they're like brand new or they look like a little bit construction still going on, especially just there. So it looks like this place is still in a lot of development, um, which you will find in the Philippines happening very often. But the drive up was really cool as well. We, so we drove right from up here all the way to this highest point. It was a little bit of a scary drive. If you know me, I hate heights. Uh, it was a little bit scary for me, but we're up here now and it looks so nice. So there's also quite a lot of restaurants and cafes here as well. There is a 7-Eleven, uh, which is open, which we're just gonna get some drinks in. But there's like Mary Grace, Starbucks, obviously, and a few really cool places like a tap tap station like a beer place which looks quite cool too so yeah there's lots here like to eat and obviously sit with a really good view as well <gasps> so good <laughs> So the last time we visited to Al, it actually was steaming from the middle of the island where the volcano actually is. And we did some like hunting around for what that might have been. And I think a few scientists are kind of keeping their eye out for a potential eruption. 
So fingers crossed that doesn't happen anytime soon, but it actually isn't steaming today at all. Um, when we went to Sky Ranch, literally January, it was steaming so much. I was like, is it supposed to steam like that? Is that normal? Because obviously in the UK, we don't have volcanoes, so we don't know what the signs are, what to look for, what normal kind of active volcano behavior really is. Uh, but it isn't steaming today. So fingers crossed that there'll be a few more years before anything happens in Taal. Um, obviously, it being an active volcano, problems like this will happen year after year. So it's completely understandable, but it's very interesting and very, um, you kind of feel really uh, like grateful and humble to live near something so destructive and that can kind of give people a lot of issues and problems. But yeah, it's really cool to see that it's not steaming today. Uh, but it's still no less spectacular. It is a beautiful scenery um, and a really interesting kind of wonder of the world. But it also brings obviously a lot of fear and devastation to so many people. So it's very two-sided. It's very weird for a Westerner to come over with no experience of earthquakes, volcanoes, typhoons to kind of try and observe that from a very different and kind of very weird point of view because obviously we have no, no knowledge of what these things mean to people and what they can do but it, it doesn't take away from the view. It's still beautiful here. So I'm just having a look out here and it, that building stand there is the Twin Lakes Hotel. Oh, the fancy like and French looking in, one. As I thought was the shopping village. Oh, cool. So it's got restaurants, your 7-Eleven, yeah. Robinson supermarket. Then they've got a couple of other like residencies here. Yeah. And it looks like they've got a vineyard, so they're gonna grow vineyard. their own vineyard. You're a chef, you should know that. <laughs> grow their own grapes for wine. Oh cool. Then that'd be quite cool. I suppose like volcanic soil would it do a wonder really well. to the to the kind of agriculture. And they've got a golf course. Oh lovely. So it's twin lakes for the name, not for yes. Not for the for, area. For the area. Ah, I see. So I guess like VGC. Kind so, of. I think yeah. there's still a, more of a meaning to it, but we'll have to find that out. <laughs> so the meaning behind the name to Twin Lakes is they've got the main lake, which is where the volcano is, and also they're developing a, another lake, a man-made one. Ah, so then that's why. That's it's where Twin Lakes twin comes lakes. from. Show me a flower. Yeah, he gave me a flower. Very lucky, mummy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, you've got a big mix, haven't you? Yeah. So we've pretty much demolished it already, but the meat's like super duper tender. And the broth is really nice. I've got mine on the side, but I've also mixed it with some rice. So hopefully that's the right way of doing things. It also comes with some really nice like fresh vegetables as well. And then we just got rice and a few like little accompaniments as well, like lumpia, always. You always have to have lumpia, huh? Yeah. <laughs> is it good? <laughs> So Kev's going for the bone marrow in the middle. Very fluffy. Yeah. Very nice. So this is the famous buku. Buku. <laughs> you can't even say it. Buku. Buku pie. Buku pie. That's it. Yeah. So it's very popular here as well in Tagaytay as well as the Bululo first taste test we haven't had buko pie at all not yes. even not even from Jollibee's again I'm not a big fan of coconut no so. I forgot about that oh why not oh no I can see it the face it's sweet it's got the taste of like the uh, Condensed milk? Yeah. It's not too bad. Okay, buddy, I'll have it. Put that there. Mmm. Pleasant. <laughs> well, that pastry's really hard. <laughs> it's got like big chunks of coconut in it through the creamy kind of uh, filling. Ice gone wide. Mm, really good. Mm. And it's not too sweet. Hold on. So contradicts me. Yeah, completely. I really like that. And it's not too strong like coconuts are like raw when you taste. No, it's not. And it's not got that like uh, fake coconut taste. What are these, chef? Yeah, yeah, you know. What, what's inside them? Uh, I'm not sure about the sugar, sir. You want sugar, sir? It's really cold here. I'm, I'm chilling. Um, yeah, you've not got anything on, really. Yeah. <laughs> I've got my burn. So. Yeah, we got a bit burnt in the boat. Yeah, and it's breezy. Yeah. I mean, it's nice if it's humid and it's breezy, but without the humidity, it's cold. It's very cold today, yeah, I've actually. Felt, I've never felt this cold before in the Philippines. No. Did you enjoy your meal, though? Did you enjoy your bululo? Yeah. yeah. The beef was nice. It was really tasty. Yeah, it was a bit tender. It was very tender. Yeah, not as chewy as I thought it was going to be. No, I think it's a good piece of meat and also I think it was yeah. cooked really, really slow. I mean, it is a fancy restaurant that we just went to. So it is yeah. very fancy, but it was very tasty. Yeah. It is really, really chilly, actually. I don't think I would ever say that. I think I'm turning Filipina because um, usually I'm very warm-blooded and I don't get cold especially in the Philippines. Never been cold here in the Philippines, not in Baguio and not in Tagaytay. Uh, but actually it's really cold. The sun's just setting as well and Ta'al looks beautiful. This restaurant, uh, Bale Daco, is actually got one of the best views, potentially out of all the places we've seen today and also where we went last time because we can see Ta'al really clearly um, through the valley. But you can also see all of the I don't know if it's oysters or mussels they collect down there, but the fishermen villages, you can see them all dotted around really closely as well. But it's just a really, really nice view. Um, the food was really good. The desserts were really tasty. I'm so impressed with those. But the balulo was just delish, delish, delish. Uh, we've taken some of it home. The beef was just fantastic. I've never had beef like that in a long time. Uh, 
back in my kind of old and working in the pubs days but it was really really tasty we'll have to try and recreate it somehow i'm sure um but it was good bululo really good bululo really really happy to have tried it and we're really grateful to be able to be here today and actually explore a little bit more of Tegetai uh, before we head back to Makati it's gonna be really sad I love all the nature and all the kind of water it's gonna be really weird being back in the city but um yeah it'd be nice to go back to our own beds and back to our normal routine but um it's gonna be a bit sad I feel a bit sad to have to leave but we'll, we'll be able to come back next time I promise hopefully we'll get to do a lot more along the coast of Luzon and also some islands as well